uh, Kevin Durant got booed in his return to Oklahoma City and um, a fan and Kevin Durant always got time on social media a fan uh, commented on social media saying uh, in that a shame Kevin Durant, you know, nobody respects his rings and he's a man without a home and then Durant responded again. He always got time. He always in the comment section responded. I'm at home everywhere I go mm. and it got me to thinking I'm like can somebody be a goat and a journeyman at the same time because it's like wait is Kevin Durant like if, if 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 OKC and the fans in OKC, OKC are still holding a grudge. He he didn't do enough in Brooklyn to, you know, be on the mural with Biggie and Jay Z. Uh, oh. I mean, like he, he's, I don't think Brooklyn claims him. You know, uh, the, the the Suns he just got there and they haven't done anything to speak of. The um, Warriors. Well, I'm gonna get to the Warriors in a second. Uh, because he, they he should be he, thanking him, but they don't. Kevin Durant. Well, that's Kevin Durant feels like that ex that no, that 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 or that person that his ex ain't claiming. Like, oh, I ain't go out with him. Like, oh no no, he, like, oh she she ain't on my ledger. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't that, I ain't claiming that body. That, uh, that my body count does not include that person. That's what it feels like. But I, but I figure when it comes to the Warriors specifically, of course. Uh, and just social media activity in general. That's a young looking Katie. Uh, who better yeah, to ask insane, than Natalie? Who, who better to ask than Natalie? Uh, as we get into this week's edition of the comment section, uh, who better to ask than the Natalie Esquire? Just how Warriors fans, uh, how they how they really feel uh, about Kevin Durant? If 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 he because the guy on social said, you know, that he's he's a he's a person without a home. Well, would the Warriors let KD crash on the couch? Like, could he, could he, could he stay over? You know, if 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 he if he needed a place to crash. And, and so, how do how does how does the Warriors fan base view Kevin Durant? Like, people always assign an asterisk next to his rings, Natalie. But is he truly not welcomed? Do y'all not appreciate KD? Like. If you could speak on behalf of an entire fan base, I know that's a lot. It's like saying speak on behalf of all black people. You're not a monolith, but if you could speak on behalf of the Warriors fan base, like how is KD viewed? Does he have a home in the Bay Area? I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask. Like I think there are people all the time who say Warriors fans don't appreciate him, but Warriors fans are not who are reflected on Twitter. Like I think people need to remember Twitter does not reflect what the Bay feels. Um, and an entire fan base. And also, you know, a lot of the people who are tweeting are not actually Warriors fans. They are a, a, a Stephen Curry stand. Like they're just a fan of a player. So a lot of those, a lot of that commentary, when you see it being somewhat critical of Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. they're not necessarily Warriors fans. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is welcome in the Bay. Um, the Warriors organization does respect him and show him love. So. Um, so he might retire his jersey one day. I, I don't know. They probably will. I think there's a case for it. Uh, yeah. But you know whether he can be a goat. He is a goat. He's not the goat, right. and he won't ever be considered the goat. Not because he's a journeyman, but just because his resume doesn't dictate. You know that he is. I mean, that's that's really no, all. But, it I'm, is. but I'm saying, I'm. I mean, he's one of the goat scores. But I'm saying, like, you know, when you think of a journeyman, you don't think of a player. At that level, even this though, good. like, but conversely, right. Right, but, you think, but, but Shaq, well, but it's what I was about to say, but LeBron James, while he's played for several teams, they claim him, right? And I don't, and I think he's, he's, it doesn't seem like he's had this endless search for credibility or, res, or respect that Kevin Durant seems to be on. That's why I say he's like a samurai without well, a mask LeBron almost. First left the Sha Cavaliers. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal, well, no, but true, but he, but he found success in Miami. Right. And then he went back to Cleveland and he went to LA. He he's embraced. Back. He's now embraced yeah. by all his fan bases. Shaq just got his number retired at long last by Orlando. So there are there are te individuals who have changed teams. But unlike Kevin Durant, it feels like all of those teams claim him and celebrate him. I guess it just was jarring to see OKC still booing him after all this time. And that's why I wondered how the Warriors felt because I don't think Brooklyn and Phoenix count. 
Yeah, and here's the yeah, other I thing. Mean, with the word, would you take him back, Natalie? Uh, you know, uh, would you would you walk down the aisle with this man again? With this man, let's get remarried. Some some couples do that. They get remarried. They they break up and they get remarried. Would you do it? I don't think Kevin Durant should come back, but that's just because there was a lot that came with him. You know, like it it, it was just a lot. So yes, they won. And if if people think that that's enough, like the fact that they could win, and usually it is, right? That's why they tolerate Draymond Green. Then sure. Um, you bring him back, but he just a lot comes with Katie, right? Like that was reported and and that was not reported. And so while they won, it wasn't always the easiest situation, you know? And mm. so you have to decide whether that that's worth it to you. Kevin Durant is getting older. So I don't know that you want to bring back someone else who's aging, even if it's someone who is the caliber of, of Kevin Durant, because now you're dealing with Steph aging, you're dealing with Draymond, you're dealing with Clay, you're dealing with Kevin Durant. I don't even know who would be left, like if you could even keep all of them. But I'm just saying, you know, the like hypothetically, I don't even know if that makes sense. So I, I do think Kevin Durant is loved and appreciated for what he did for the award. Um, but Absolutely. I don't. <laughs> like okay see i just don't think it's any shock that they're still booing him he didn't leave on good terms he you know all time it, healed all wounds you know no i mean like if you if you leave an organization dirty if lebron did not go back to cleveland i don't think that they would be showing him love either like the way you depart a situation matters and if you sure. offend people on the way out then like you're not going to be this beloved and all person Right, and all rings are not created equal. I've already talked about the fact that like there are people with no rings or fewer rings who have more respect uh, for a variety of reasons than KD, but we'll leave that there. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.